So here's a quick video about roundabouts. I know um, some people in the North Valley or Scottsdale or the Southwest Valley in Tolleson or Avondale come across these weird anomalies in traffic and you're like, what is this thing? Why is this here? The short answer is, I don't know. But I'm at the most infamous roundabout in town, the Norterra roundabouts. Nobody likes these roundabouts. I'm gonna show you some very simple rules to make this as painless as possible. First thing you're gonna notice right away, there's a yield sign, this little red and white triangle that no one knows what it means in this town. It has one meaning. It doesn't mean slow down, it doesn't mean stop, it doesn't mean anything else. It means you don't have the right of way here. So you wait at your yield sign, and I'm starting to look at the traffic coming at me. And I see there's no one coming, so here I go. Now I'm in the left lane of the roundabout, so I stay in the left lane of the roundabout the whole way, and I watch the lines and make sure that I'm not in anyone's lane. And now there's a merge sign coming up, so I need to check my right blind spot, look at next to me, and start moving into that right lane. Now, if you're in the right lane, uh, you are supposed to yield to traffic in the left lane. So I like to stay on the inside lane around these roundabouts. Not that it really matters in Arizona, because if there's a crash, it's both people's fault most of the time anyways. This time I'm going to go around the right lane of the roundabout. This one's particularly difficult because you can't see any lines on the ground because they've been completely worn out by people's tires going over the lines. So you can see the little dotted line kind of faintly, but I'm just going to hug this right curb all the way around. There's a yellow sign that says roundabout 20 miles per hour. Um, you can get away with a little more than that if you're not driving a semi-truck. Yellow speed signs are only intended for, they're called a speed advisory sign. They're not intended really for the normal drivers out there. They're really more for truckers, so that way truckers don't flip over their car if they go too fast around a corner. Um, but roundabouts have two rules. Wait on the outside of the circle until the traffic in the circle is out of the way and there's an opening for you that you can fit in there without getting anyone's way. Or, in other words, just yield to the traffic in the circle. And then don't change lanes in the middle of the roundabout, ever. Don't do that. That's really all you gotta do. Just uh, wait for your turn, stay in your lane, don't cut people off. And then these Norterra ones, for some bizarre reason that nobody can figure out, they have a, a three-lane road, Happy Valley, that narrows into a two-lane roundabout that narrows into a one-lane bridge on each side. And that's a uh, terrible recipe for some really bad traffic that you'll always see there at rush hour, some real, real bad traffic. But you just gotta be patient. And it's kind of a blessing at the rush hour traffic time that the roundabout gets clogged up because then you can't go fast enough to make a major mistake and hurt yourself. You can only go like five miles around the circle anyways, or five miles per hour, sorry, around the circle because traffic's clogged up. So in short, wait on the outside of the circle so you can fit through there without getting anyone's way or cutting anybody off. Stay in your side of the circle.